Hello everyone, Trophy Wine Hunter. Welcome back to my wine channel. Today I'm doing a review of a recent dinner I had with friends with some great wines. So again, um, this is a season of trophy wine hunting for me. Um, this season typically uh, right before Christmas is a very busy season with a lot of um, networking and friends and clients. So you'll see more and more of these dinners for a little while. Uh, so it's kind of fun, uh, but uh, you'll see these videos more and more often. You'll see me kind of do a little bit more now. This is we're smack into trophy wine hunting season. So again, great night. Um, we had a number of people and five bottles of wine. So I'll go through each one of them. First wine we had was Dom Perignon 2006. You can see my video on the 2008 Luminous that I've just done. And um, very nice, always very nice to, to start off with Dom. The, we had it with uh, mostly seafood dishes, with lobster and with king crab. Um, in comparison to 2008, I found this a little bit more acidic and a little bit more creamy and sweeter in style. Um, and I know it's not Cristal, but it, it was more Cristal-like than uh, the 2008 um, vintage, a little bit creamier. Um, so and not as mushroomy and um dry it's not as dry as style i i found this 2008. I, I prefer the 2008 my rating of this wine was 94 points we start the red wines with the 2003 joseph drew and Musini. um very prestigious winery um always a pleasure to drink it 03 was a i think a softer vintage lots of rain uh, but this was at its um, plateau at this point. It was aired for two hours. Some people don't like to air Burgundy wines, but um, because you might lose some of the aroma, but it was actually, I, th I think, the right thing to do in this situation. Still had great aromas of dark fruit and floral elements like violets. Um, very um, substantial on the palate, lots of mid palate, um, quite powerful for a Burgundy wine. Um, again, a great drink. Musini is always a great um, whenever you get a drink. Any of them are great. Um, and I think this was at its peak right now. Um, went very well with the softer food that we had. It was mostly Chinese food. Um, but my score of this wine was 94 points. Very close to 95 point wine. Um, the other interesting thing is we had um, 2003, it was nice to compare it to 2010 and 2017 Burgundies. You'll find with the fruit here is a lot darker fruit, like dark plums, and with the younger Burgundies, more into the red fruits. We followed this up with the Armand Rousseau 2010 Close de la Roche, um, another Grand Cru vineyard. Rousseau is not normally known for Close de la Roche, but um, never pass up this type of opportunity to get this. Um, very interesting comparison to the 03. Um, with 10, I think it's a little young, so you'll see a lot more red fruit. Um, I thought it was more, it was again aired for about two hours before drinking. Had a little bit more aroma, a little bit more fresh flower um, cuts. Um, or oh, sorry, the Musigny had a little bit more spice. This one had a lot more red fruit, like um, not like uh, kind of raspberries, that type of fruit and a little bit of um, still a little bit of more tannin base. It wasn't as voluminous as the Musigny. Um, it didn't have the mid palate, but I think it's more that it was just young and it hasn't developed. So that's just the un really interesting tasting between a 03, which is fully developed, a 10, which is getting there. And this is why um, Burgundy is always so confusing. It's so tough. You have to wait so long for it to really blossom. Uh, my score on this wine, 93 points. Then we went to the 2017 Albert Bichot Estrezo. Um, I have reviewed this wine in full before. And the score this time was a little bit lower. Um, again, we didn't air it out as long, probably about an hour. Whereas in my last video, I had it aired almost for a full day. I think aeration really helps on these Grand Cru younger vintages. And you can really tell the difference between the 17 and the 10 and the 3. The 17 was all like really um, fresh, 
red fruit, strawberry, cherry, you get that typical what we would conceive was burgundy wines. But I think with age, it gets darker, it gets to raspberries, and um, then it gets even then gets darker to plums. So um, it was really interesting to do that. My score this time was 91 points, but again, it could be affected by a couple of things. One is, um, you know, the extraordinary nature of the other Grand Cru wines that were served. Two was it probably wasn't aired out as long as the other one. Really, really needs time. And my lesson um, for this is that you really need time with Burgundies, especially Grand Cru vintages, probably 10 plus uh, best to be 15 plus years before you drink it. We ended the night with Chateau Pavie 2003. And to me, this was the wine of the night. I'm so sorry, I'm so shallow, but um, Bordeaux is something that I'm more familiar with. Burgundy is something I'm getting to understand, but um, it's Burgundy is much more subtle. Bordeaux is just so easy to understand. And 03, this was aired for about four hours beforehand. All the dark fruits, um, plums, cassis, um, blueberry, blackberry, um, raspberry, um, tobacco, smooth like uh, milk chocolate, uh, great mid palate, um, nice and smooth, but still powerful. Tannins are in check. Um, this is probably the best vintage of Pavi I've I have had. Uh, maybe rivaled with the 9 and 10, but the 9 and 10 are a little bit strong at this point. 3 is just drinking wonderfully, especially if you air it out right for a couple of hours. Uh, my rating of this wine was 97 points. I really enjoyed this wine. And again, um, Bordeaux is my preferred um, region of drinking. Burgundy, I'm getting there, but it is takes time. You need Burgundy that's older, and you need it's so much more expensive, and it's it's quite fickle. You really have to serve it correctly with the right food and with the right environment. Um, whereas Bordeaux and sometimes Napa Cab, it doesn't matter as much. The wines show because they have strength; they're easier to show, um, and they show better in different sets in different settings and with different food a little bit better. Hope you've enjoyed this tasting and until next time, happy drinking.